I, I went on a first date. And when I opened the door, my man was at my front door. And I was like, whoa. Oh. Like, right? <laughs> and then he hit me with the Rico. He pulled the flowers out. And I was like, wow, this is different, right? So I'm not even paying attention. I brush past this trying to walk down the steps and get to the door, right? Because I'm not paying attention. I'm just so not used to it. And it just hasn't, like, I just didn't have a lot of practice. He opened my car door. I get inside. He closed the door. I immediately went to my group chat. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say he opened your car door? He opened... High five. No, High five. No, 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 no. Now let me explain, right? Let me explain. By the time we got to the restaurant, my follow-up text was, Y'all, that's my bad. I, ain't, I just realized, I ain't, and all that stuff we be talking about, we don't really want it. And I felt mm. like he technically did everything that we be saying we be wanting. In my mind, instinctively, my first thought was he corny, but he really did everything that we want. Don't listen to what women say they want. Observe their actions instead. Being nice and a gentleman might work with some women, but the majority of Western women are exactly like this. You sound Listen, I don't condone this type of behavior, but y'all want equality. Now shut up. <laughs> what is your exit strategy for like a terrible first date? If we go out to eat, like we've already had sex, so I know that I can <laughs> tolerate you. That's a red flag. How is that a red flag? You're judging them based on their pussy control. We gotta have sex so I can know what quality of restaurant you should go to. The fastest way to a girl's heart is through her stomach. Going to sit at a restaurant and gotta hear all that bullshit about what's your love language, bitch. What? Are you upset? Babe, are you upset? So the maintenance man came and fixed something in the bathroom. Hey, babe, tell him, tell him what they, what he found. Leave me alone. Tell him what he found. To... Tell him. I'm not <laughs> they found her butt plug. That she left on the sink. Don't we? It's not like you sleep in the bed with your grab. What? <laughs> it's not like you're in bed with your grab. No, because I'd have an ad on and she'd sound like this. <laughs> no, that's just wrong. Laugh. No, it's just wrong. <laughs> Sorry, girl. It's like I put my gun finger to you. Let me tell you something, little girl. Know yourself. Know your place. You understand me? You know where you come from. I know my place. No, you should buy your, yeah, you know your place in Canada. But you see me? A Kingston Jubilee me born, and we can't tell you which part that day in Jamaica. You get your mother. You don't know. You don't know which part yeah. that day in Jamaica. Don't break you your understand me? me. So, me we mash you up. Mm. Me broke up your little blood clot, maga body. All right. right mm -hmm. I'm really about to show y'all why we need to move out of America. Look at this. They're selling lion chops. They're taking exotic animals and cutting them up and putting them in our local grocery stores. Look, I'm in Safeway. They're putting lion meat in the fucking grocery stores. Lion meat. Yep, exactly. That's lion meat. And the crazy thing is, she can vote. So y'all are screwed up. <laughs> well, here's the deal. Right. I have a cat. I know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, I'm not surprised, is what I'm saying. What are you trying to say? I'm saying when I look at you, I think, cat. <laughs> well. In that's... so many words. <laughs> yeah. I like an SUV. Right, to keep your cat To in. keep my, put my cat in when we go to the vet. You go to the vet a lot? <laughs> is, is your pussy sick all the time? What's... Well, I'm asking about your... Hi, sorry. Better be fucking recording. I'm sorry. Oh, good choice to record. Why? Oh, because I was gonna fuck you up. Because <laughs> oh, I can leave later. I can leave later. You know what I mean? Uh huh. I can't leave earlier. So if you tell me 5:30, you're done at five. I can't do nothing about that. You tell me 5.30 and it's 6.24, you bitch. I got a fucking problem with that. And then you're going to tell me coming down at 6.10, 6.24.
624. That's 14 minutes. That's a minute of floor. Basically, if you walked it, you slow bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought about all this because I had 54 fucking minutes to think about it, right? Right? Or, or, or yes or yes? Yes. Oh, that's what, okay, yeah. No, yeah, 54 fucking minutes. Women would rather hear comforting lies than uncomfortable truths. Agreed. I think women take criticism as an attack on, like, their self, yeah. like, Soul. their being, it like, is. who they are. I feel like only if you're not wanting to work you on say, yourself. You say it is, but, like, the thing only is, like, if, if I receive, it. I literally welcome criticism from my friends and the people yeah. closest to me. Like, you're when a man. I'm, 100%. I know, but when I'm screwing up, I'm like, yo, like, tell me all the areas where I'm screwing up, because I want to, yeah, I want to yeah. be the most effective version of myself possible people will tell me chase like you're arrogant you're hot-headed you get angry all, all these different things and i'm not like i don't hear that and, and think oh i'm just a terrible person i hear that and it's like okay there's room for growth yeah, yeah but uh, women seem to take it as like an assault Soul on their being wait so we'll flirt with you at the grocery store but not offer to pay for your groceries get the fuck out of my face i beg your fucking pardon what the fuck you think this is? I'm, I'm over here shopping for things and you're flirting with me while I'm shopping for things but not offering to pay for the things that I'm shopping for while you're trying to flirt with me. Are you stupid? Like, the only way to win right now is to pay for the groceries. If not, move, move the fuck around. Move around. Because you're definitely not moving on up. Thank you. I think she's just doing this for attention on social media. Because how entitled can you be to say some outrageous stuff like this? You know you fucked up, right? Oh. Steven, there's an annoying noise in the kitchen. I, I don't know where it's coming from. Can you help me fix it? I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you, <laughs> we don't care. So let's say a guy wanted to take you on a date, he wanted to take you like Chick-fil-A, would you be turned off? Yeah. Chick-fil-A's fire though. I thought you were black. Did you just say what I think you just said? Huh? I thought you were black. What does that got to do with anything? No. Five people don't eat Chick-fil-A? They eat it, but it's not like date material. That's got to be racist. What we got going on here, huh? What we got, what we got going on here, huh? What, what, what y'all? Hey, don't fucking junior me, man. Don't fucking junior me, man. It's your third time this week popping up in my motherfucking house without letting me know you gonna pop up, huh? You fucking eat chicken, and you got these little ass shorts on. What's wrong with y'all, man? What the hell y'all got going on? You got your legs wide open? Drinking this? You know, I ain't fucking tripping. You think I'm stupid or something? What the fuck y'all got going on? I don't give a damn what. Say, say, man, what, 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 what's going on, huh? What's going on? I'm trying chicken for my man. That's it. And why are you recording? Get the camera out. Well, your man just got here. And I come home. Think about this shit. I'm coming home to my motherfucking pops in the kitchen. Well, my goddamn girl for these little ass shorts on. Now, for those of you who don't know, the man who's recorded keeps coming to his dad and girlfriend hanging out in his house. And this is just fucked up in so many ways, bro. And if you guys carefully listen to this, she said that she was frying chicken for her man. And that just confirms that there is definitely something going on between those two. We must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused. Hey, uh, bro, he literally wrong. doesn't want me. Yes, Exciting. he does. <laughs> Come over. Oh, he doesn't want me. <laughs> my money is my money. Your money is our money. Um, okay, now I'm joking. Let's go. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Today's episode. I'm joking. That ass. Would you guys be actually see yourself dating somebody, somebody like me? No. <laughs> I would not. 
You're physically not my type. Yeah, I'm also gonna pass. I just um personally couldn't do it. I just don't think you're my type. I'm gonna pass as well in the most respectful way. I just think you're um like very fucking huge. I'm gonna pass as well. <laughs> I have a very healthy lifestyle and I think you can match that. No, I can't can't do anything like that, but we could probably smoke blunts I don't know. They are respectful enough for me. Absolutely. Uh no. 